Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dota Pit Season 3. We have our second game between Evil Geniuses and Team Secret. Very excited to be bringing you the coverage here. For, uh, brought to you by High Ground TV on twitch.tv slash Dota Pit. As always, my name is Mott. Joining me today, of course, is Pit Muckle, our observer and producer. We have Mott Pax, the stats man. And as always, Trouf joining me. Trouf, that, that first game was well played uh, by Evil Geniuses. Secret, maybe some mistakes there. Uh, obviously, I think... As for not having a great time and Sumail just taking over mid was the biggest issue, but then uh, it became more about five man and evil geniuses. This time they're going to pick up the tusk and Team Secret go for the bristleback. Let's see how they play out, man. Yep. Sorry, I just closing something real quick, but it's now EG going with the Tuskar pick for themselves um, in the second pick. So they will get two, <laughs> Secret will get one. Sorry. Um, but yeah, so Bristleback starting things off. I know that they really like. Oh, wow. That's I mean, I can't even touch on the Bristleback pick because we have a second pick Naga Siren. That is not something we see too often. It's been picked here and there, but this patch, Naga has been picked occasionally, just not what you see every day. It's very surprising, especially in the second slot. You don't really assume Naga Siren's going to get banned out this patch, and maybe by a few teams, but Naga Siren getting picked up second by Evil Geniuses, they go for it immediately. I'm interested, man. And the, what I'm also interested in, where's the, where they're going to lane, not only this Naga, but the Tusk as well. Yeah, it's it's really interesting. And I knew that, I, I knew that Secret were going to go for the Wisp as well. It's one of the better hero, or heroes to pair with the Bristle. Um, it's fantastic. You can put it in off lane if you want. You can put it in safe lane. You can put it mid. It can go anywhere. But it just makes the Bristleback so extremely tanky. More tanky than he already is. But more importantly, too, and this goes for all stages of the game, it gives him a mana pool that he desperately needs. So he can, you know, just spam out his spells as liberally as he wants. So he doesn't have to worry about running out of mana because the Wisp is always going to be there by his side. Yeah. This is a common, you know, dual, uh, dual lane from Team Seeker. They don't even have to have the eye with the Bristleback, but... Arteezy plays Bristleback. He's been playing it a bit. Um, I haven't seen him play it recently, but this is something he'll play in mid from time to time. They can even put it in the safe lane. They can play it for Zai in the off lane if they want. It's just a hero that, honestly, Secret likes to run. There's a lot of those uh, around right now, but this one in particular is something I've seen them play so often, especially I saw it at the Summit a bit. Um, they get it here and there. They played it against uh, Empire twice, I believe, in MDL. And uh, since then, I haven't seen it. When they did play it against Empire, the first matchup, it was played by RTZ mid. I think the second matchup was the same. Uh, and no, it was S4 mid. So they switch it around. But it's certainly a very strong hero currently in this meta game. The ability to run at people, the ability to just absolutely decimate people with those close sprays. Not, it's not too fun to deal with if you're secret. Or if you're evil geniuses, excuse me. So yeah. good pick up from secret. I want to confirm with you too because and I, I know people don't like talking about it, but I think it does matter. Uh, just to even just touch on it, just to know. Is this Lux server now? It is US East. All three games are played on East server. Oh. Just because it makes more sense from a pragmatic standpoint, if you think about it, because the the pings from like Fear and other people to Lux is above 200 by far. And everyone to US East is roughly around at least, you know, 100, 150. Some people were floating around that uh, high 100 range to 200 range. No, I think... I, I believe I think it makes sense because yeah it's it's definitely more equal playing ground on EUSC. I mean, than it is for Lux. personally, I'd rather have one game on Lux. Honestly, that's just my personal opinion. But uh, it makes, like I said, it makes sense from a pragmatic standpoint. Um, it's so. yeah, it's a little it, the way it becomes a little bit weird is when you have multiple people that are on different parts of the U.S. So I know Fear and, and um, well, Fear Owie and Universe would take a huge hit if it went to Lux because they would be pinging like 240, 250, something around there. Yeah, smell and PPD not so much. I think they're in the Midwest, but uh, I think RTZ is still in Vancouver. I'm not sure if they're. I think he's in Vancouver. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, another you know, and that that actually is you know, I I think why Secret are willing to to play because RTZ is going to be playing from us as well, and exactly where pretty much AUI is playing from. So. Right. Okay. I just wanted to, I just wanted to get that clear because I wasn't sure myself. Well, we cleared it up, man. Good work. Thank you. Yeah, I know. I'm a man of the people because the people are asking. Yeah. Anyway, um, they go with the Razor pick now for Evil Geniuses, something that's really strong against the Bristleback. Um, because he's a melee hero, and it's easy to kind of abuse also the fact that he has a spamming vis Viscous Nasal Goo, which he does not want to spam on Razor anymore because he's going to constantly purge himself. So It's a pretty good pick. Uh, it's been a long-standing, not really counter, but decent pick against Bristleback. 
I'm a fan of the Razor. It's something we see occasionally. I, it's a, it's one of those heroes that used to be incredibly strong, but got nerfed a little bit, and since then has been picked, you know, every so often, and for good reason. We've seen this hero do very well. Uh, Arteezy, obviously, one of the, the best uh, Razor players, but it's going to be on EG's side now, so I'm interested to see who's going to be playing. I still don't know. Uh, we haven't really talked about this Naga, man. We don't really know where this Naga's going, and I don't think we will know for uh, a little bit here, but we do know Secret does have a Storm Spirit, so... I feel like picking a Naga super early is more, it, it, it reveals more to me, it, it, and it signifies more to me that it's going to be a support. Mm -hmm. I don't think you pick Naga straight off out of the gates like, hello, I'm Naga, I'm going to be carrying this game. And yeah, I agree with you. Not to say that you can't, but I just feel like it's more likely that it's going to be a support. Because when you pick it early, it gives the other time, or it gives the other team to think of ways to deal with the split push, ways to shut them down early. But when it's a support, you, it doesn't really matter, because you're not really going to shut down to support Naga Siren early. No. So. Uh, I will say we did see the support Naga the other day for Mouse Sports. It was actually Fly who stood in from Complexity playing the, the support Naga. Did pretty well. They still lost that game in the end. He didn't transition into a core, maybe which would have been a game-winning idea, but he, he didn't really have time to do that either. So support Naga is something we're not too unfamiliar with, and um, I actually can't remember the build he went for, but there's definitely some good items you can grab as this hero. Um, but the Storm of Spirit pickup from Team Secret, which is... I wouldn't say unusual for them, but it's not something I see all the time for Secret. The thing about Secret is they have such a wide hero pool. Uh, they do pick it up occasionally. They played it against Ehome, and they also played it against Empire. So it's not unheard of to pick up the Storm Spirit, but like I'm, I was saying, they just have such a wide hero pool that Storm Spirit definitely makes sense in this situation, but they will have to deal with Alita now, Laguna Blade, Naga Siren, and Snare. Um, Chen comes out from Secret, so you, you look at some of these heroes, and, well, Chen for puppies, the no-brainer, I guess. And a fourth pick Chen at that, Pretty nice to have. Yeah, I, the, it's kind of weird though. Like Team Secret, I feel like this is like what they're very, very comfortable with. EG has a lot of heroes that have just tons of like, just tons of good spells. Like good spells on everybody, just yeah. and that and they want to fight with. Like Nagas Siren's got tons and a huge arsenal. Tusk has a huge arsenal, and they're all spells that have a relatively lo low cooldown, with the exception of Song of the Siren. Yeah, they're very um, spammable. That's a very good point. And even Laguna, I guess, kind of is is pretty on cooldown too, but. That's well, pretty low, actually, for such a huge nuke like that. True. It's only 70 seconds in level one. Mm -hmm. Pretty amazing, actually. So, but I mean, that's not even her main spell. Her main spell is the amazing Light Striker Ray, which is a very, very good stun, AOE stun at that. So, um, we'll see if Evil Geniuses invade their jungle. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to because they their level one is significantly stronger right now. Sure. Um, so there's no reason to not shut down Chen early on. I mean, Chen does not want to get tested faith level one. You want to be able to take that creep holy persuasion and go from there and uh we'll see if uh, evil geniuses do decide to roam into the jungle that's definitely a possibility evil geniuses they have a great lineup team secret as well it, they're they're a bit different bristleback if he gets strong he can easily take hold of this early game especially with an io at his back we'll see if it is going to be arteezy playing it or if he's going to be playing the storm spirit instead winter wyver comes out from evil geniuses i'm not the biggest fan of this hero but uh, in order to lock down, say, Storm Spirit, I think uh, Cold Embrace's, or rather Winter's Curse, is one of the ways you can do that, and it'll help a lot. It's thought of as one of the better heroes in the game against Wisp, just because you throw it on the Wisp, and not only do you stop him from doing anything, but his team kills him. <laughs> so, what better way to do that onto a hero that wants to be next to his teammates? So, it's, it's, it's thought of as a really, really strong counter to the Wisp, and I've seen it in play. I've played against it before, being on a Wisp team. At MLG, we, we ran the Wisp Tiny against, a, and they picked a Wyvern, and it was it was kind of miserable, honestly, once it got to the mid-late game. <laughs> that does not sound fun. Winter Wyvern is something... I will say, uh, the last time I did see the Winter Wyvern was in the game-deciding match between Narvi as well as uh, Mouse Sports. Mouse Sports picked it up, and it did not work out them for them at all. And so, Winter Wyvern is something I'm, I'm still kind of questioning. There was a couple of times we saw it picked up right around that WCA when the patch first dropped, and we're like, oh, Winter Wyvern, that should be a really good hero. And then he just never really got touched, other than a couple of games here and there. So I'm still skeptical about the Winter Wyvern. But for Team Secret, is their last pick coming out. They already have the Chen Ao support duo, Storm Spirit probably going mid. It is the Tiny coming out. Ooh. So now that they have the Bristleback as well, they've got the Tiny. And you talked about it, Winter Wyvern against this kind of lineup here, and this could be pretty interesting. Uh, for both squads, really, but well, we'll see if Arteezy, uh, as well as uh, I w imagine Kuro, if they can carry this game. 
with a tiny IO combo. I have never seen PBD play this hero. The um, Wyvern? Yeah, I've never seen him. I, I, and I know that... Uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure he has a background of playing it from, like, you know, the old Dota 1 days, because I'm... You know, he, I know he plays. This Han. is the new hero, though. Remember, uh, Winter Wyvern just came out like only like a year or two ago. So it wasn't ever introduced in Dota One. Not well. I mean, Dota Two was already out when Wyvern was added to Dota One. Okay. He was right, either playing so... Han or playing Dota Two at the time. Okay, I guess that makes sense. I so it's it's fuzzy to me because there's a, a list of heroes that came out after like when a lot of people quit Dota One that that didn't play play the heroes. Um, I didn't know if Winter Wyvern was like one of those that came out right afterwards, but yeah, uh, it was it him and uh, Arc, uh, Arc Warden or Zet or whatever his name is. Those were the no two idea. heroes that came out. <laughs> no yeah. idea. Yeah, dude. So this is PPD's at least first official Wyvern game. Um, I can't say it's got to be the most difficult hero to play, but no. um, I have seen a huge variance in terms of how teams or how players level up this hero, like what they skill first. I've I've seen people just say that. You need to max the Arctic Burn. It seems to be the strongest to max out Splinter Blast. Yeah. Uh, it seems like an amazing nuke, but that, we'll that see. Arctic Burn, those two, obviously. Maxing Cold Embrace is only you just get an extra percentage, which is not bad, but uh, I've seen a lot of Splinter Blast maxing. I've seen a lot of Arctic Burn maxing. In both Five man snowball incoming. Yeah, they're, they're going to snowball here. They need to get on the Zion. They're going to find him. They're going to get three, four, all five, I believe, and Zai is in trouble. LSA and Zai is definitely going to fall. Maybe not. The Avalanche comes out. No, he'll go down to fear. And his right click coming through. That was a five man snowball. That was a party. Uh, they just ran right in and say, hey, what's up? Let me drink your booze. And they got the easy kill on Zai. And they might even get S4. S4 He's going to walk up, up. And they're just going to Riptide him now as well. They don't have the Arctic Burn. There's the Tether coming through. They don't have Overcharge yet. S4 will take a lot of damage. Just have a sound, luckily, but it could have been a lot worse for him, too. Really strange. They just kind of walked up right there. They have this ward, so maybe they're like... I guess that doesn't give vision of this little spot right here. And they're even going to... Are they going to counter that? Do they have a sentry? Oh, no. They already used two sentries. Okay. One of their sentries got countered by the sentry from Secret, so that's good. At least they have that camp to work with. Right. This one's blocked. And their main that's pole it. camp is blocked. And oh, yeah, I, I didn't see the sentry over there, but still, that's not bad. Uh, Puppy could do work with this. He's going to be blocking the creeps for the time being. He won't get the medium camp. He'll have the hard camp, which is fine, because he could just actually just pull persuasion and go from there. Naga's just going to block this herself manually. Oh, she got a little bit scared. She got cold feet. Go back in. AY turn around. Uh, nah. It's too late at that point. And uh, he'll head back towards the lane. And it's going to be a dual lane coming up from Universe as well as AUI. And then a dual lane mid with Sumail so far with PPD. So Sumail is going to be the farming Lena here. He did go for that LSA level one, so it doesn't have the Dragon Slave to maybe uh, harass and zone out people with. But still, the top lane is going to be very interesting with Fear versus the Bristleback, which is what we talked about at the beginning of the game already. No, bottom lane. They're going at S4. Do they have any other way to kill him? They don't. They only have Riptide. No one's there yet for AUI 2000, so. This is a really hard lane for Storm. I don't know how he's going to get very much. They have no pull to work with. He can't even pull for himself if he wanted to. And he's getting zoned out by just a Naga. So it's going to be free farming Tusk, which is actually can do a lot with free farm. Top lane, you have a Bristleback against a Razor. I already talked about how this is a great counter to him. So he's getting nothing. Bottom's getting nothing. Mid's going to be a wash because it's dual lane versus dual lane. At the very best, they're at least farming this Chen. Oh, here comes a snowball onto S4 and he's dead. Uh, I actually didn't see it. Ice shards came through. They get an easy kill coming in. Here comes Puppy. He's got his ensnare. They don't have mana. Universe is kind of low. But Puppy can't do enough damage. He's only level 1 with no test of faith. He did, he did just get level 2. He didn't level it up, though. And uh, so he'll... S4, like you mentioned, this is a very tough lane. He's even taking a lot of damage from these creeps. He will get at least some experience in gold because the wave is under his tower now. That's great. Good stuff there for S4 getting back into it. Mid lane is something I want to keep my eye on. Because who knows what the hell is going to happen here. Honestly, RTZ has 10 last hits. He's doing pretty well. Oh, bottom rune spot. Naga. Get caught. They do get the region room, but he doesn't actually get any use out of it. Now Puppy getting chased down. Arctic Burn already going. Look at that slow coming out as well. The body block coming in. There's the snowball. Easy kill for Universe as well. Nicely played. Oh, this is just a really hard early game to fight into these heroes of EG. I am I'm surprised that Artis is actually doing really well in mid as far as I mean, yes, it's a duel in mid, but this is also against a oh, hold up thought. This is Caster Curse coming into play. As he might actually die. Oh, the, Ooh, the nuke actually... didn't hit. Yeah. Oh. You could easily, like, you gotta be kidding me. 
Yeah, I was gonna say he's doing well for now. If Sumail's gonna level up. He'll have like level three Dragon Slave. You know, get Laguna Blade, and uh, that's not gonna be super easy. And I think I will Crow will stay around and obviously help him out there with the bottle. Zai top lane's gonna take seventy damage loss from Static Lincoln. He really has only got two last hits. Fear is sitting right now at twelve. So top lane's going fantastically. Bottom lane is going fantastically, and they're even gonna find S4 again with the Instair. Snowball comes out. They don't have the Riptide. They don't need it. Universe will get another kill. He is getting free farm. Not only getting last hits, but also now getting up two kills as well. Yeah, and they're going to go on a smell mid. Nope, it's a stun. They didn't feel confident in going towards it. Um, but yeah, at least Tiny's getting farm. And I said surprisingly because this is a pretty potent mid lane. Like, yes. Lena dual lane plus another range is very, very strong. I mean, we just saw it there, Tiny. honestly. Yeah. This Not game has to come down to just playing the games passively and letting Chen go as much farm as he can without dying. But Chen already died once, so that sucks. Yeah. Bottom has died twice. It seems a very strange game to set up these lanes. Oh, mid lane again. But Good nope, Smell's fine. PPD. Yeah, Smell's gonna be fine. He'll have boots coming out as well as his bottle. He had to bottle crow. They couldn't get the the, the runes at two minute spot. EG's AUI 2000 is gonna be looking for that bottom rune. Top lane, RTZ's, or top rune spot, rather, RTZ and Crow are going to secure the top rune for themselves. Let's see what it is. Not that it's going to matter, Crow is going to have it. Gets an invis. Eh. Yeah, there are better things, there are worse things. I will say that S4 is getting some more now. He's, he's getting more out of this lane. He's 14 last hits, 6 denies. Not doing too poorly, even with, you know, dying twice. But as I say that, he's going to get ice sharded. He'll be okay. There is actually no uh, AUI 2000 to help him here this time, so. It could be a lot worse for S4. He could be you know, dying twice and not getting any farm at all, but that's not that's true. Yeah, he is actually getting some good CS, which is great. And once he hits six, then he, he's totally... Well, I can't even say totally fine, because this can kind of blow him up, I think. Um, he has to be careful. If he's at full HP, I imagine he'll, he'll be fine, but... He's actually leading he, in CS in comparison to Universe. He's beating him, so... That's good, yeah. Top lane, Zai taking a ton of harass. 112 it's 112 damage. damage stolen. Fear throws out the nuke. It's only level 2 nuke, but it still did so much damage because Zai is only level 2! Zai He's luckily did it himself. To... Yeah, that's, that is a problem. That's not great. Level 2 versus level 5, that's how you know a lane's going poorly. Zai could catch up, maybe he gets, you know, a couple of stacks in the Ancients or in the jungle. Well, he's got none right now to work with because the jungle's occupied by Chen, who needs it, mm -hmm. and nobody's there available to stack. I'm surprised maybe Kuro didn't stack uh, Ancients. Maybe he was stacking this camp for someone. I wasn't really paying attention, but... I think those ancients definitely need to get stacked, otherwise Bristol's going to get nothing this game. I, th I think the jungle too is going to be hotly contested by all the secret members. Like, you know, Tiny and, and Io want to do the, the stacks together. You have Chen, obviously, and even Storm with Remnant. Not to mention the Bristleback, which we already talked about, so... Everybody wants to be in that jungle for secret. Oh god, <laughs> that nuke, that toss from Arteezy hit both of them in mid and did actually a ton of damage. Level 3 toss. Male's sitting pretty low, about half health right now. He does have six wand charges to buy uh, a belt of strength. So he's going to be grabbing treads, it looks like. Interestingly enough, I think that was his. It is. So that's not something you see every day. But All right. Both members uh, have an uphill ward mid. So it's really important to have that again with Wisp because you want to make sure you don't you, you see you have the full vision of like Tiny trying to jump up onto you. So they have that. Wisp, nope. they also have that, so they can have the opportunity to do so. So both wards are going to kind of counteract each other. This Storm is so huge. close to level 6, the ice shards went a little bit further, so he wasn't going to get blocked. This could be a huge engagement coming from Secret. One creep and he'll have behind. 6. Yep, one creep. This is going to be problematic. Universe is going to see Puppy. They're going to see Kuro as well. There's the ball lighting in. Snowball comes through. They're going to try to get away the ensnare onto S4, but it doesn't matter. They get the test of faith out. They get the kill as well. S4 the double. And Sumail does not have 6. He does, but he didn't have the Laguna Blade. Doesn't have the Mana Blade either. And now there's a region coming through for the IO. Sumail gets the LSA off, but he's going to fall under the tower s4 goes ahead jumps all the way underneath gets the kill and they turn the game right around secret now with three quick kills they did lose the chen but doesn't really matter in the end is that's huge for s4 getting back into it what a huge rune to have for your wisp too <laughs> like what better opportunity than a storm spirit for your team that just hit level six so really utilizing that rune to his full potential rtz taking some slow damage the ice shards is oh it's gonna be off the mark pretty close but he does live How's, how's poor old Zai doing up top lane? He's only level 4 compared to a Fear that's level almost 7. <laughs> this lane is such a disaster, but... All things... But 
after that huge engagement, I think S4 is going to have a much better game than he did last game. I can't go anywhere, man. Like, the, again, you talked about the Ancients. There's no way for him to... I mean, there's no stacks there. The jungle's occupado. He, he should just stack them himself. I'm, I'm, I know he wants to just sit at this tower whenever the wave's coming in, but I feel like he's going to benefit a lot more by getting these Ancients stacked than getting maybe a little bit of experience here and there. He's now level 5, which is great. Now he has, I think, a sufficient amount of damage from his quill sprays to do his stack. So maybe oh. he thinks about going to do that. Universe was going to get chased down there by RTZ. Uh, he was getting attacked by some of the creeps, but that was just to make sure he didn't get, go for that bounty route down in the bottom lane or bottom bottom rune spot. So it is it's great for fear up in the top lane. Mid lane was a wash, but then Sumail TP'd bottom and died and RTZ was getting free farm throughout that entire time. And bottom lane was fantastic for evil geniuses up until uh, S4 got his level six and they got a couple of kills. And now he's getting a lot of room to farm 35 last hits. He's doing pretty well for himself now with Treads. No bottle that I can see. He is bringing it out now, I believe. And that's great. I like the plays Secret we're making. They, they smoked up. We saw a lot of that from Evil Geniuses last game. But now there's the Ensnare top. There's also going to be the Static Link as well. CP so rotation. And I, I, I think Zai, the Hand of God's going to come out. They do get the relocated. Fear is getting low. They're going to go on PP and they will find this kill. TP coming out. Fear is low. It looks like he will stay alive and TP away. Safety, just barely though, and it is going to be a one for one support for your offlaner. Could have been a lot worse coming through uh, for EG and for Secret, of course. But I don't think uh, Secret got enough out of the rotation, unfortunately. They wanted to get a lot more, but uh, they only got the winner Wyvern. They had to kind of shift their attention to him because he had the cold embrace on him, and the only one to way to kill that is just through magic damage. And then Razor is pretty damn fast. Uh, even just with one point, that unstable current runs to the side gets a TP out, so I, I'm sure they wanted to get a lot more out of that, and I think that's a fine exchange for EG, because they did bait out the relocate, and it was ended up being a support for an offlaner. Yeah, and they're going to head bottom in again, just try to shut Zai down, and I mean, I think at this point they'd rather have S4, but it's harder to lock him down than it is, but they can burst him down, like you mentioned, with Walrus Punch, and there's a lot of damage. Fear is very close to his mech, he has the, the buckler pretty much, actually, let's say he's not, okay, he's not as close as I thought he was, they not even have the buckler yet, so... He's still a couple hundred gold away from getting that, that mech early on here, but that will still be a pretty good timing for it. They're going to try to chase down Zai. There's no Radiant Vision that I can see. They're still smoked up anyways. There's a double damage bottom rune spot for whoever wants it. The Blueberry Rune. Arteezy's going to work on Tier 1 mid, though. Really good rune for Tusk. Yeah. He can do so much damage with this, and they're going to put up a ward. One of the few smoke ganks from EGs that we've, EG that we've seen fail. I mean, they're usually just always connecting with these smoke ganks, but Secret sniffed it out well or something, or just dodged a bullet, but either way, not going to make anything happen with that smoke. S4 is up top. I think it's smart to put him up top and because he's a little bit more difficult to kill. That being said, Sumail actually TP's in. If they do find a combo, they can maybe get a kill onto him. I don't maybe know. If, if Storm is on strength treads, it's going to be hard. Yeah, I, they, I don't know how they're going to be able to bring he it. Needs to like... be, oh, God. He needs to be on strength treads, I think. Get a blind LSA here. They will. Laguna Blade comes out the last couple of right clicks, and he's going to try to make it away. The long range, but he does just join that last projectile. Meanwhile, they're going to find Fear near the ancient stack. He doesn't have his mech up. We'll look at the center conqueror stop come through the Hellburst smash and throws up the thunderclap. And here comes Universe Walrus Punch. Not enough to get the kill. Toss onto Universe. He's bottle charges if necessary. Sigil coming through. Ice Shard. Oh, he not misses. Connecting. Universe misses. Needs one more right click, but there is the avalanche. They keep up the IO. He stays alive. He's uh, sweating right now for sure. PPD won't be able to find the kill. TP's coming away. They lose two heroes in that engagement, and suddenly it's tied up six to six. Game looks a lot closer. All right, what a juke there from Kuroki. I don't know. Can we call it a juke or was it just a blunder? I don't know. Either way, here comes relocate onto Aoi. He has no song yet. He's only level five and a half, and they get a very, very easy pickoff. Really nice rotation, abusing the fact that he's not level six yet. Zai can take a lot of damage. Got he's in trouble, but here comes the kill from Chen. Fear does not want to go. The relocate out. Arteezy's alone, but the Chen is here as well. And there's the ensnare since our conqueror stopped. A couple of Helder Smasher Thunderclaps. And Fear's like, I'm at half health. What's happening right now? The Chen army is destroying me. Chen will head back just to make sure he can recall his creeps. And he won't do it yet. Oh. Yes, and, and Arteezy went for the blink on Tiny. He goes back in on PPD, gets the kill. Nice combo from Arteezy. PPD just wasn't expecting it. He's going to know for sure that they have a ward. It gets pinged out. And they get the last hit here for Puppy. So really nice plays here coming out from Secret. Yep. The same exact rotation coming in now from Samael again. If he had a little bit of help from Aoi last time he initiated, it was a for sure kill on S4. This time it's going to be the snowball, and this will be a kill. Yeah, that's huge. They need that S4. 
He's kind of, you know, snowballing a little bit. Ah, get it. But now they do get the kill. Meanwhile, Zai does pick up that tier one tower mid, and he's starting to get a little bit more out of this. His net worth is third to last here. He's only above the Naga. Top lane, Arteezy does bring down Sumail with that blank dagger coming in, getting his combo off. Sumail caught out of position, and there's, there's just kills happening everywhere. There's dead bodies all over the goddamn ground, and it's hard to keep track of, but... Uh, so far, yeah. it is nine to seven. It's secret actually coming back pretty strong. They have a three thousand net worth lead now, two thousand experience lead. Arteezy, he's the one doing I think a lot of the work in this situation. He's even wrapping around. He's going all the way under the tower. AUI is like, I don't have six yet, please. Avalanche toss comes in. He does have a salve. He's got a stick as well. Song comes out. Yeah, relocate could come through here. They might be able to stop it maybe with a winner's curse. Oh yeah. They're, yeah oh they're, god, they're level six it. on Wyvern. Winner's curse will come in, but Arteezy does get away with the blank dagger, so Kuroki will fall, but. They didn't keep Arteezy there uh, uh, to get that secondary kill, so that was a little bit lucky for Secret or Just really well played from Arteezy, rather. Yeah, very, very fast blink rotation backwards. So it could have been way worse. Um, dodge the bullet, so to speak. But I, I'm, I'm such a huge fan of the blink on Tiny. I, I know there's different schools of thought on this. Sometimes the, it's very glaringly obvious that you should just rush the Ags, but I don't know. I, I just I just think the combo is, does so much damage. Even I think it's still relevant in late game too because you can always toss someone back into your team, similar to like a Magnus Skewer. Um, and just the fact that they've buffed it so it makes it much easier to hone in onto that single target. It's now the closest unit rather than most, you know, rather than a random unit. Snowball to mid. Out. There's the Walrus Punch. Not doing that much damage. Here comes the Arctic Burn though. And Die is pretty fast with his Warpath. Three stacks, they relocate him out. Here comes Arteezy. He's alone, however, but Fear takes a heck of an amount of damage from that. He'll actually have to mech up and stay alive, so... Um, as far as the, the Blink Dagger on Tiny is concerned, he's gotten so many kills with it. Like, they might just be winning this game because of this Blink Dagger purchase. He's 4-0-2. You could argue that there's some other plays like the Smoke Down to Bottom that helped out S4, but they're definitely in a commanding position, although Arteezy uh, right now is the only really farmed hero. S4 is getting there. He only has the one Oblivion staff for now. Yep, and I think, is he going to go for the, uh... Oh, he's going to go just for, for the Ag, so... Point this bracer. is just a casual Bracer here no for RTZ. And there is the 15-minute Yules, so that's seven minutes later yep. than he got it last game. <laughs> just to put in perspective uh, how fast it was. A bit late, yeah, a bit late from Sumail, but... I mean, it's still, no, it's still great game. timing. It's still fine. Because he has the treads too. It's just he got it. This just shows how friggin' fast it was last game. Yeah. Ay down bottom. Arcanes. He just purchased them up, so Ay hasn't had the best game. Him and PPD are very, very poor, and I think that might be a big issue for them. Vision's gonna be kind of lacking, I think, for the most part, or just that second set of items that you want to support to maybe make you a bit more impactful as the game progresses. But it's gonna be a long way. They need to try to take some sort of fight. Universe is, I think, saving it for a blank dagger. Fear already has his back, but he really hasn't done like he had a great start and this mech has not really done much for them there's puppy and kuroki top they might want to go for this tier one tower it is very low arteezy is also up here ready to go with the blink and the point booster tough to bring him down and arteezy is gonna be him getting jumped on they probably have a relocate but warrior's punch comes out and curl is not in position that was really strange i don't know what he was thinking there he kind of just walked up and him. uh like, I, I, I don't know, I thought, maybe he thought that the tower was, like, one toss away from being dead, but I don't know, that was, that was strange. Burrow was there, but he was at the tower. It was interesting. I thought he was right next to Arteezy, but that wasn't the case. There was no relocate out, so a huge kill that provides Universe pretty much his blank dagger. Fear gets a, a bit of gold as well, he's going drums. And, all right, where do we go from here? 16 and a half minutes of the game. S4 is farming very well, and I think they have to maybe prioritize killing him a couple of times, but easier said than done. Yep, and he is going for the Orchid. Oh, they smoked on this ward. They saw this. And it looks like S4, he, he wanted to break it, and he did. Nicely played from him. PPD, solo smoke, isn't really going to get much done. He's kind of seen some creeps right now, but... The creeps are baiting, and Sumail... Realizes this might not be the best idea. Regardless if it's the best idea, Zai's gonna walk up. There's they have a relocate. He can use him. They do throw up the cold and break the winner's curse rather than S4. Laguna Blade, did he dodge that? The song comes out. I don't know if they can take this fight. Sumail is trying to regen up. His LSA is about to come out, I imagine. And it doesn't connect. It's a bit too early on S4. S4 Snowball. They get the kill of the Ice Shards. Walrus punches a puppy on the other side of the fray. PPD Cold Embrace up. Zai chasing after AUI. 
A AUI is gonna fall on the other side of things. PPD, rather, Puppy gets caught out and killed. And Universe will clear up his creep army, but here comes Zai. Back out of PBD, but Fear's here as well. Statically, he's gonna go. Good cold embrace. All that physical damage negated. Zai cannot finish off the kill. Snowball towards another hero. It's gonna be Arteezy. Not gonna connect, but the Ice Shards will. Three for one exchange. And EG bring it right back with that beautiful fight. Yeah, Arteezy also missed his stun there at the beginning. He he tried to combo onto the uh, wave, the Wyvern, but he missed his stun. And then after he tossed down, the Wyvern came down with very low HP, but just able to use the Cold Embrace, which he's actually gone for a smorgasbord kind of build here. He's gone 3-2-2. Two, two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I wasn't even trying to lead into that. I was like, 3-2. Oh, I see where this is no, going. No, I, I saw that too. I was like, I know this is coming. <laughs> but it, it, it healed on him nicely, and... It's also, now that I think about it, a great counter to Bristle because all of Bristle's damage is, is all physical. Yep. So that Cold Embrace kind of owns him. Yeah, it's but, uh, not going to be great. And Zai is already having a rough game as it is. I want to remind everybody that this is game two. And Secret already down one nothing. They need to win this game to force game three. If you win this series, you are guaranteed 40,000 USD. $40,000. That's something else, so... It's not like this, and if you, of course, if you go down to the, uh, into the loser's bracket and you lose that series, you don't get any money. You have to win one series to get to the money. So, a lot's at stake here, and evil geniuses are currently staying alive, I'd say. They're not leading. Secret have a small, a small lead, and they also have a very good lineup in the late game, but uh, evil geniuses are doing okay for themselves here. But S4 looks yeah. to get this orchid up and then do some work here. Also, while there's not really like a, a for sure count or a combo with the Naga Siren Sleep, as a support, and this was much more prevalent when we saw Naga Siren played as a support a long time ago, much more frequently, but it's just so good against the Wisp relocate. There's really nothing you can do about it. You relocate in song, it's very easy cut and dry when to use it, and that's just what they did. And it wastes, what it does also, it wastes a lot of Wisp's time, because then he has like only five seconds left to actually yeah. aid his ally in the fight before he has to go back or yeah, bring himself back. Yeah, and you start panicking, you're just yeah. like, uh, what do I do? So, it's, uh, it was definitely a rough situation. EG smoked again right on top of a ward, so they have a pretty good idea as to where Sumail and PBD are. Sumail's even gonna get ensnared by a Dark Troll Summoner casually. The tier one tower is not in deny range. Five versus five mid right now. The good old, you know, this is a pub game. Let's go five man mid and just sit there for a while. Instead, EG will end up backing up and starting to farm. But now, Secret are going to be aggressive. They have a smoke and Universe is going to pop it. He needs to be careful. They're going to jump right in. Sumail in trouble. He'll go down. The snowball is going to come in and S4. Might get Walrus punched here, but he's got mana to work with. The pull is going to come out. Song of the Siren. Reset the fight. Sumail buys back. TP's in. LSA is going to get ready here in just a second. PPD. He's got that cold. And rather, Witcher's Curse. God, I can't get that right. S4 gets oh, blown up. They even used the cold embrace there. Poppy gets Laguna bladed. The only one alive after that bloodbath is Arteezy. That took five seconds to get started. Even less than that. And all of a sudden, it's over. EG just burst everybody down except for the tiny. But here comes Fear. Nice avalanche from Arteezy. He thought about turning around, but he's already lost 100 damage or so. And Fear is just chasing him. Ice shards are going to connect coming out from Universe. There's Gideon with the snowball as well. That'll be another kill. All five dead again. And evil that, geniuses getting back into it, man. That was, again, a mistake by Arteezy. What he, what he did was, and you could tell what his thinking process, he stunned the Razor, and he's like, all right, I'm going to toss you back. But wait, the toss back is going to purge me, and so I'm actually going to be slower and take damage I can't blink. If he just stunned and then ran away and blinked he would have been fine but he second guessed himself he was he was like thinking about one thing and then made then changed his mind in the middle of it and as a result he died because he just was too slow and then they were able to catch him with auto attacks and disable his blink constantly also um while the uh, song was coming out like 224 damage stolen from the bristleback i think from fear and then oh, fear God. found the wisp he saw the wisp was trying to relocate someone out and he hit him three times and killed him like in a, in a matter of 1.5 seconds it was insane the amount of damage that this razor does when he steals 224 damage yeah that's fear has been putting in some work this game s4 got blown up and he's got a lot more problems than just getting you know an early orchid he might even i mean even a bkb cold embrace oh, god winner's curse will still go through that I've, I've called it Cold Embrace like six times. I Really a problem. But yeah, maybe BKB. Obviously, Bloodstone would be really nice to have on a Storm of Spirit. So he's got some time before he gets up and, and gets into that fighting shape for S4. But we'll see if he can get there. Yeah, things yeah, are looking problem. good for EG. That being said, I'm looking at the net worth and it's still not crazy. No, still that fight did not even. give them that much. A lot of that is maybe due to... 
I don't know. It's not due to towers. They they have pretty much the same towers except for the tier one bottom. It's mostly due to the fact that EG is just really not farming. Like they're winning the fights and they have stronger heroes in the team fights right now, but they're not. Other, other than the razor, they're not actually like farming that much. I would say. Hmm. I don't know. Actually, I'm looking at the CS. Their CS is actually pretty much even with uh, both the tiny and the and the it's store. the supports. I think. Yeah, it must and be. and AUI are very very poor. Although AUI has a drum now, but they already have one, I believe. Yeah, they do. Uh, PD has a cloak, so he wants to get that Glimmer Cape, which you see very often on Winter Wyvern. In fact, I think it's almost core. So yeah, the supports are very poor. You know, Puppy doesn't have that issue. He's a Chen, so he can farm very well. And the IO, eh, he's not doing too much better. In fact, he's he's right behind AUI and only ahead of PPD by a little bit. Bottom. Oh, nice. They're gonna ult, I think, Arteezy and go for him. Winter's Curse, and there it goes. And the Static Link, this should be a free kill. No Brokey there to relocate him out. Toss does do some damage. They even smoked down there with a couple other heroes with EG, but I just had a Roche Jeez. now and try to take this. That damage is so insane from Razor right now. And Razor almost has a Shiva's. He has a Shiva's and 100 gold. So they're going to have Shiva's on Fury. He's going to hit 16. He's going to have an Aegis. Oh, man. This is looking really good for EG right now. Secret, they do the right thing though. The lanes were not pushed out and they're gonna try to take these tier two towers. Mid towers uh, gonna be taken by S4, at least puts pressure on. Top tower is not gonna be taken by Zai, they're gonna back away. So I, they might be able to get this tier two. They should flip this. In fact, actually S4 is just gonna back away. He's a little bit nervous. And that'll be an Aegis for Universe, interestingly enough. Out of all the heroes, I guess uh, that makes sense. Hmm. Or Universe, now. okay, interesting. I would have thought Sumail, honestly, but. Oh well. As you yep. mentioned, Razor's AC, or not AC, rather, Shiva's guard is, is done. Get, he's gonna get the plate mail from the side shop, the secret shop rather. And at that point, it's just even more to deal with if your secret. Here is the most farmed of the game. He's 11, 12,000 net worth. All right. So we've kind of hit a lull. Both teams back to farming. Yep. Um, I think Fierce Razor has just been on point this game. Just doing so much damage and I like the item choices too like mech is usually a little weird on him now because of this constant nerfs but I mean he's able to farm so fast as Shiva's now he has no mana problems at all and he went drums too so and Shiva's is obviously great against Bristle because like I said Bristle's all all physical damage and I missed that one but uh he didn't miss much it was <laughs> uh, a Chen dying within seconds however S4 then a bit of an interesting spot, but he'll probably be fine. They have no real knowledge of him being here, so... They're drawing a line. They want to head top. Fear, gonna get chased down by Arteezy. He actually knows this. He's gonna pop the drum charge just so he can get away faster. Bottom, S4, still not scouted out. They want to relocate, but Aoi's here. They're just gonna get songed. Not Although he could go on, him. go on Aoi. Orky comes out. Song needs to that... go, and it will, but they do get the kill immediately on his smell. He's dead for 70. More TP's coming in. I don't know if you want to... I guess it is going to be about four versus three. And they're going to get the cold embrace off. It is going to go on a Kroki, and RTZ cleans his clock. It's popping off. Now there's going to be the Lars punch on RTZ. Static Link coming in, and Fear again doing so much work. The Shiva's guard kiting him, and they take down two. They do get the TP out from S4, so at least he does survive. It does turn into a two for one trade, though. That's the biggest issue. Now TP top universe going on to Zai. Actually blinks away, not going at him, trying to escape him. I'm not sure I really think that was the play. I think it would have been smarter to ball in, use the uh, use the Orchid onto Aoi. Yes. So he can't song, and then pull the Lina. Yes. And I think that, that would have bought enough time to bring them in and still kill both of them without yes. sleeping everybody. I will say that we're very close together, and it might have been a misclick. That's always a possibility with the Orchid, but... Could, oh, possibly. That could have been it as well. Uh, I'm not gonna but, get too deep into this, though. That being said, he—I mean—he did kill him really fast, but yes. that, that means the relocate just baited them into their death because they didn't stop the song from coming out. Yeah, Arteezy and Kuro got there, and they're just like, "Oh, what do we do now?" I guess we're dead. Not much else they could do in that situation. Arteezy does finish up his Agonim Scepter. His farm was really good early on, but it's been stifled. I mean, four deaths will do that to you. So, it's not been the best. S4 has kind of leapfrogged him in terms of farm and where he's at. S4 is, in fact, going for the BKB, which is fantastic. Although, if he gets Cold Embrace, he's going to probably die either way. He might just need, you know, BKB Lincoln Sphere. You don't want to have to go super defensive on a Storm Spirit, but this might be the game for it. I, mean, I don't know what your thoughts on it are. I, I'm sorry. Storm. 
Link is for Storm. After um, the baby, I mean. Yeah, sure. I mean, this is totally fine. This, the Winner's Curse is going to, or was that what it's called? Yeah, Winner's Curse is going to destroy him, if not the Yule's combo. So, yeah, that's I think that's I fine. Saying. That's what I was saying. So. I'm still, I'm still surprised, actually, especially surprised that Sai's farm is, he's like pretty much he's tied rebounded. for second net worth. That's really impressive, considering his horrible, horrible start. He's got uh, now Heaven Talbert, which is. It's kind of weird because it's like you don't want to use it on the Razor because then you're going to get purged, but you kind of have to because he's hitting for 350 damage. It, I think it's more of just the ability to do that, but plus it's just it's a really good cost-effective item. Like it gives you tons of, uh, tons of strength, pretty damn good damage, good overall evasion. He's, he's actually half HP and they're, no, they're not smoked, but they're above him. And they don't have vision of him, but uh, he's dang kind of far back, but now they're going to wrap in and AY is going to look right with an ensnare. Ooh! He almost gets away. Yules comes out. That was from some LLC. He's going to connect, and that's going to be Walrus Punch and just a dead Zai. Alright. So much for that. First Blink? recorded Blink Desco Tusk. Huh, that okay. was a pretty good game. Universe has set up a lot of kills for the initiation. Tier 2 towers, both mid and top lane, are getting assaulted. Mid lane will fall. Top lane still could be defended. Fear's here alone. Speaking of alone, AUI, there's TP's coming in. They want to kill RTZ. PPD's not here yet. Sumail getting ready with the LSA, but he missed times. And here comes the Orc and coming up from S4. Relocate away from Kuro. Universe, now the TP coming. They need a snowball. They can't quite find it. He is going to make it out. That could have been a lot worse. In fact, they, they get everybody away and they force out a lot of TP rotations, and that means that the tier 2 tower top lane will survive. Oh, the Wisp oh, is dead, though. Except for... Oh, he even had a haste rune, I think. The but they still managed to just do so much damage with the Laguna, which is level 16 now with Ag, so... Really, really scary smell. That's, uh, that's... Frightening, to say the least. Somebody just bought an item, what was it? Oh, BKB for S4, I believe. Also, so Vlad's on Bristleback. Mm-hmm. Couple of good items coming out for secret. Solar Crest not coming in from AY. Jump on. Sumail is going to get silenced up. Now the static link going through as well. Sumail in trouble. Not dead yet. Yules is himself, but the mech already came through. Zai actually going to chase him down, but the LSA going to go through. Doesn't connect. There's the Walrus Punch turning back. Hand of God's going to go, but Zai gets blown up or will be getting blown up. He does do a lot of damage with those quotes, and Fear has to back up. Meanwhile, top lane getting chunked down by the tree. They're going to turn it for EG. They want the sigil. They've got it on Puppy. He's going to get stared up. He's going to, please, God, no. And Fear will pick up the Wicked Six Streak in the process of doing so. And EG, they'll take two. They're going to head towards the Tier 3 tower. Uh, but it looks as if they might just back off. In fact, Sumail's going to get jumped out again. Great, Yules. The BKB is down for S4, but there's nobody there to catch him out. He's just going to ball lighting and TP away. And so he'll make it out again as Arteza goes straight for that tier 3 tower top. I'm putting some okay damage onto it. Wasn't there in the last fight, so did a, a good amount of damage. Good amount of structural damage at that. We'll see. I mean, it, it's still crazy that it's not that far out of the grasp in terms of net worth. Like, it's still only 4,000. Just seems like EG's never even coming close to losing a fight. Uh, I guess Sumail was kind of close to being dead right there, but... Yeah, good mech, though, from Fear. Yeah. He also has his Aghanim Scepter now. All right, so but the thing is, too, Ralph, I think uh, Io Tiny together is going to be difficult to deal with in a little bit here, especially if you get the Salt Kuras on the Tiny suddenly. Uh, if there are Tier 3 towers available to take, RTZ can get in there, keep the creep wave pushed out, and go from there. He also just got a level 16, so level 3 grows up. I, like you said, it's definitely not out of the realm of possibility for Secret. They're not in that bad of a spot. They just need to take one or two good team fights or, you know, take some towers. Just fight. <laughs> I think they actually want to rat again, and I think that our tour is up bottom. S4, S4 can't get the BKB dead. off, and he gets blown up. Fortunate. Yep, even if he did, uh, that Laguna will still go through so much damage. But RTZ went for the Mask of Madness, and I I don't think you want to fight in a team fight with Mask of Madness, just because I fear to take so much damage. And the Winter's Curse is just so freaking good against the Wisp. Mid, side. Golden Brace comes out, and Sarah comes through. They're going to get back home. Is it going to be enough? He actually is going to make it away. Nice play. They're going to have to go back home. Look at the Tier 3 tower. This is the problem, man. You give them even this much room to work with, and Arteezy is going to go should, to work. They should focus on Fear right now. I think they can maybe, maybe make a play onto him. 
And they're gonna yeah. go with Zai. Viscous is a goo. They're gonna relocate as well. And Fear is in trouble. Static Link will go to He's got the mech. He's gonna use it. He's gonna TP away is the question. They have no way to lock him down anymore with the avalanche toss done. It's still 84 damage. Here comes Simelon though. Laguna Blade. Relocate home from Kuroki. Nice play. Arteezy's left alone. Another Yule's coming out. They have LSA in his second. IOTP's back into the fray. Arteezy's actually just gonna stand still and looks like he'll be able to make it away. Universe is coming down bottom as well, but just a little bit of... I don't know. A couple of fights here and there. Zai's gonna get Song top. Sumel's here as well with the LSA. Zai was just bottom. And... Boom. We're gonna connect with the LSA. Yeah, this, is, this should be a kill. Yeah. He's dead. Yeah, that Solar Crest is really awesome too. So much damage. Negative 10 armor, and then they can't hit anything. Pretty much 30% miss chance. With Riptide on top of that. Yeah, it's really, really strong. Well, all right. They'll lose Zai. They're you see what happens, though. Here, though. When You see what happens when... Oh, yeah, Fear. He's dead. Next, not available. Oh! See this guard? Oh, with the ball lighting mess four, we'll clean it up. That was... You see oh, that passive owning him when he tosses him. It's pretty insane. Here comes the snowball, and he can one-shot Kroki, I think. Close. Very close to one-shotting him. Arctic Burn will kill him, I believe. Uh, miss, miss. Miss? Wow, those miss chances from the low ground. You gotta be kidding me. He ends up getting the kill in the end, anyways. All right, man. Where do we go this from here? This is crazy. It's crazy that Secret are still <laughs> within uh, their grasp of 5,000 net worth. A blink, actually, on Winter Wyvern. Um, I think they need to just... I think they need to wrap this out, but it's kind of... Like, you, you have Chen, who wants to kind of fight with his mech, and now he has Guardian Greaves and ulti. Bristleback obviously wants to fight, but the Razor pick is really good against him. I think the Razor pick, which normally is kind of stale and doesn't do much, is just doing so much this game. Yeah. This is a pretty good draft so far for Evil Genius. It's not to say Secret have a bad draft. It's just that S4 kind of got crushed early on. His effectiveness hasn't been felt too much. It is. He's 5-6-2. Arteezy fell off, I think, right after, you know, early to mid-game. And Zai really had an awful time, but he's he's rebounded so well, but it's just right now it's not enough. So ratting is like you mentioned the name of the game and with 4,000 gold RTZ could pick an assault Kuros, making it even easier to take down buildings. We'll see if he decides to go for that as his next item, go for maybe a bit more damage, nothing else. But Roche is up and that seems to be the point of contention, at least for EG, they went ahead into the Roche pit. Hey Roche, what's up? Just kill you and take your Aegis real quick. And the, the lanes are all pretty pushed out as well, so there's no, Big potential for getting rad while this is happening. Yeah, they got Sigil, Solar Crest, they got negative armor from uh, Universe. And they also have the song, if anything got a little bit hairy, but nope, they're not even gonna contest it. They know they can't fight this, and immediate smoke coming out from EG as well. Again, one of their strengths is they always seem to initiate fights after smokes extremely well. We'll see uh, if Universe can find the opening he's looking for. He, I think he's gonna BKB in base too, or Probably. something. They're going to find Puppy, and he's going to get LSA here. And they're going to try to jump it with S4. He's going to BKB, and Stair's going to cold embrace. The song comes out. They're going to try to bring him down, and Laguna oh Play will do the job. God. They haven't even killed Puppy yet. They focused all their attention on poor S4, and he doesn't have buyback. Uh, he's down for 64 seconds. Luckily, the creep wave is mid, so they have some time to work with. And they're going to try to push out top with Zion Arteezy, and maybe just force some TP rotations back. So... Secret are in an awful position despite losing one critical hero and the puppy going down as well. Getting BKB to the song does nothing, then gets cold and or what is it? Winter's curse. Did so we still race again. Oh, I don't I don't remember. I screwed yeah. up all the time too, so like hard. But it kind of even worked against him having that BKB and then just got lagooned in the face. Really hard. It's just hard to kind of deal with all of these different interactions. Uh, there's really no, like, you have to have a ton of defensive items, like you mentioned the Lincoln Spirit, but he's just too far away from that. Arteezy might just spray this. They 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 baited a TP from uh, Universe, and then he stopped it. And there's no way, absolutely no way that AUI can take this fight alone. So they're TPing more back now. Io's in the backside, ready to relocate out. They have Winter's Curse in 30, so not quite there yet. The Arctic Burn's slowing him down. They're gonna hit the ensnare. Arteezy's gonna get relo relocated back home. The Laguna Blade on his eye, he will fall. And uh, Universe is going to be waiting for Crow, so I, yeah. Fear is actually at the base, and he's in trouble. Toss comes out. He's orchided as well, and he's going to go down. Fear will fall here. It does take them a long time to get through him, but 
It is going to be two for one with Beard going down for 78 seconds. They do clean up the two or three top, but EG will take the mid melee racks. Yeah, which is, I think, fine for them. Zai is, despite him having been able to bounce back, it's just, it's impossible for him to do anything in these fights. He's just controlled too, too easily by, whether it's uh, Razor or even just a simple ensnare, the slow from Winter Wyvern, the U, I mean, there's just too many ways to control him. I think he definitely needs probably a BKB at this point, just so he can walk around in fights without having, um, God, even then you have ensnare to deal with, you have the Tusk Walrus Punch to deal with, it will still slow you down. You have Winter Wyvern's uh, Winter's Curse. I don't know. It seems I feel really bad for Zai because I think he's done a great job coming back in terms of farm. Had one of the worst lanes you could ask for. It's just so hard for him to actually find his place in a team fight. It's definitely been a struggle for him, and it will continue to be. So I think they can maybe try to take one big fight. They still have ages for EG, and I. The good thing for Seeker is I just love how how they just keep this top lane pushed out like all the time been a really 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 solid job from the secret just making sure this lane is hotly contested Brokey will throw up his spirits they're actually going to jump on Arteezy the Yules is going to come out good toss because he's going to glimmer cape now there's going to be the LSA the relocate out comes from Kuro at the perfect time they even expanded Laguna there and that means that RTZ is going to finish up his self trust his eye is going to get chased down though and this is going to be the collateral damage unfortunately he's like why do I have to die for RTZ being caught out of position that's really smart, though. They're like, we don't care about relocated Za or uh, Kuroki because he's kind of... Actually, you know what? To be honest, I feel like he's more important than Zai because I, I, he has abilities that can do stuff this game, whereas I don't think Zai's skill set on the hero can do much. The, the Cold Embrace to deal with the physical damage, which we haven't even seen it that often, is, is something to give it the back to So mind. strong. Yeah, I didn't even touch on that. Yeah, it's really good, this game. And so Zai is in Struggle City right now. Maybe getting another item to help him out in that regard. He already has the halberd. I don't know what else to go. He definitely doesn't want to go damage though this game, which is, you know, I think the right idea. He He's going for, right now at this point, pure utility with the Vlads as well as the halberd pickup. And his next item will be even more indicative of that, more than likely. Uh, which your Wyvern is a gem, by the way? Artisi does have very good farm. Like, he's, he's bounced back nicely. He died so many different times after he went blink, and it took him forever to get the Ags, and he had just blink Ags at, like, I don't know. I... I 29 minutes out of something. I don't know. It was really slow, but yeah. he's got Mask of Madness. Now he has Assault Caress. Mm -hmm. The potential is there to take down the base if EG doesn't have TPs yeah. and they aren't ready for it. But there is always that song that you have to deal with and Aoi's now level 16. That means level, uh, that means a 60 second cooldown on that. So that's going to be the, I think the biggest issue here for Secret. Right, is he getting jumped on? Io's not quite there yet. He should make it there in time and he will. No, this song comes out. Kuro can't get the relocate off. It was actually stopped by the Song of the Siren, and Kuro's gonna fall as well. Oh, perfectly timed coming out from Evil Geniuses, and very unfortunate coming out for Arteezy. Um, before we go any further, I do want to touch on the fact that S4 did go for Lincoln Sphere, and we thought it was gonna be good earlier on, but he just, he, they don't have damage. I think that's the biggest issue. Well, I definitely think this, I definitely think this is the right decision. Right. For the item build, I think he has to get this, but it might just be too little too late. I actually think that RTZ was going to die before the relocate even came out, despite the nice song from Audi. But that damage from uh, the, the Laguna is so insane. It just does so much damage. Nice really. curry cutting, cutting by S4. Um, if they're able to take this wave out somehow in the bottom lane, then they won't have a wave anymore. Here yeah, comes the bots up top. Zai's in trouble yet again. There is a Laguna. It was the back was turned, but he's still taking lots of damage. Oh, Boris Punch. The Eels will come out, though. And here, too. Bottom lane is going to fall as they get that kill on Azai in the top lane. Got a bots in with Tusk and they're going to just go for this. S4 is going to jump all the way in. He's got out of mana. He pops the BKB coming through. Lincoln was popped. He's getting so low. Hand of God comes out. The Solar Crest did work. Here is still going in. He's got, of course, Azai the Storm going to work as well. Kuro so close to death. Now the Sog comes out as well. Fear is actually going to TP back home. They don't want to overextend this. Oh, the oh. Avalanche not there from Arteezy. Just a moment too late. And it actually is going to be Fear making it out. Tier 3 tower does stay alive, however. That was almost a crucial mistake by Owie. He backed up and then... Uh, oh, wow, that's a huge zip. He's trying to find a PPD, and he's not going to find him. PPD uh, has a glimmer anyways. Yeah, that's true. But uh, he, that Lincoln Sphere did save us for, because the yes. Winter's Curse came out and it was blocked by the Lincolns. Well, now they so, know. Now they know. No one has a Force Step either, I don't believe. Force kind of game, apparently. 
would be something nice to have. But they will... Uh, 42 minutes into the game, and again, Secret are, are still in this, but it gets harder and harder. The net worth was at 4,000 for like a long time. It's down to about 13,000 now, and that's a pretty big issue. A lot of net worth. I think they're in the same boat as they were last game, where they're just, they cannot fight them at all. But they do have potential to split push. Last game it was Coddle PL, this game it's Swiss Tiny. Uh, but EG's just been, they're just really been on point about addressing this issue. Uh, of not letting them get into the base to give them the opportunity to take down towers. It's so hard to just stay this focused on making sure top is pushed out, and making sure not get ratted, and all the while dealing with team fights and what have you. But uh, they've dealt with it nicely, but Secret are like one mistake from EG away, you know, from getting their top racks, because it's constantly pressured by RTZ and, and Co. Puppy has his Agonims, by the way. So he's gonna be looking for that ancient... Oh, he has one. He's got a Granite Golem. All right. I like it. It's something. Yeah, it's... Yeah, they're gonna need a bit more than that, but oh, especially now that there's a Scythe up on Sumail as well. I think Zai has to get a BKB, or he's just not gonna be relevant in fights. I think it's absolutely paramount he gets a PKB, but he just doesn't have the farm. He's one ten and one He doesn't have any ways to get farm, too, because the lanes are constantly being pushed out by EG. Or if they're not being pushed out by EG, they're being pushed out by the other members of Secret who are actually getting the farm like Tiny. Mel is able to get uh, sent back with the Test of Faith coming from Secret's uh, puppy. Top lane, Arteez is still pushing us in. They're going to wrap around with Fear. Looking for Kuro. He'll find him. And Kuro is... Probably, he could tether away, and he will, and he's actually just gonna TP out. And he barely makes it. Ugh. And uh, Arteezy will also just TP home as well. All right. So, what else is there? Uh, there's a mech purchased up for AUI, even though Fear has one. Actually, he think he sold it. They clearly want this still, which is interesting. He's trying to get Guardian Dreams. Walrus Punch, they're gonna find Arteezy. They're gonna jump in. Sumail gonna get jumped on. Laguna Blade S4 now going to work. The song comes out. And Zai will be caught. Oh, poor S4 Zai. is able to ball lightning away. Oh, S4 gets caught. And they'll know that he's here, but he does have enough mana. The one worst punch almost came, but it's too late. Zai comes in. Now there's the Cold Embrace. Hand of God's gonna go. Walrus punch. Kuroki. He'll stay alive for now. Cold Embrace onto Sumail. Kuro is gonna fall. Sumail's godlike on the other side of things. Zai's still getting chased down. Ice shards will connect Zai. Resigned to his death, it looks like. There's going to be the Shiva's Guard, Walrus Punch, Universe. Thrown up Shore Yukins multiple times in that engagement. Turns into a three for nothing. There's no buyback in Zai. RTZ does have it, but this is going to be probably mid Rex gone. Maybe even bottom Rex gone as well. Here comes a zip in from. Back. It was a zip in plus a send back yeah. onto the storm. They can do that, but he's got to regen his mana, which takes a good. 10 seconds sometimes. Glyph coming out, Fear pops the ulti. I think his AC is on the way too. It is. Plus the mech. Plus the Guardian Greaves. This is looking, so many looking like the now. beginning of the end. And next to your right is coming up for Evil Geniuses. And that's going to be a full Rax gone. Bottom mid is, is pretty much dead as well if they rotate there. Die still dead for 42 seconds. Roche is up in about 5 seconds. The only times I had more deaths than this at 45 minutes, he was playing IO. That is, he's had a really rough game. I, and I, again, I have to stress that I don't think it's his fault. I think no, it's I just so. a matter of the draft. Yeah. I, there's just not much that Bristol can do against the heroes that AG has drafted. So I, I think the Razor, like I said, the Razor third pick was really, really good, really smart. I think the Wyvern last pick was extremely strong. And it's something that you have to think about now, you know, that it's introduced in Captain's Mode. It's been in Captain's Mode for quite some time now, too. Yes. That when you pick Wisp, there's a very large possibility of that Wyvern coming out. So, something you have to be worried about. Yeah, it's... I was very skeptical of the Wyvern pick early on, uh, right during the draft. But he has 6, 2, and 14. You will not find a better stat line for really any Winter Wyverns, honestly. That's fantastic. Even as Boots of Travel right now. Somebody just bought a Shadow Blade. Uh, that is Universe, because why not? Pretty good. He's had this just like random Ogre Club forever. I thought he was making a BKB, but he's looking for Arteezy. He's, he guys. spots him out, and the tree's here. Yeah, but I think he bit off more than he could chew. Universe still chasing. Ooh, good blink out. He's going to try to TP away. Song gets off just in time. Arteezy's going to get spotted, and we'll have blink at five, but there's going to be the ice shards coming through. The snowball's going to hit up as well, and... Arteezy's looking like he's dead. He will have buyback. Cold Embrace is going to go just to make sure he can't get away. And Laguna will finish him off finally. 
Mm. Well, this game is still showing you. Oh, oh, that was a relocate or something. Relocate backwards. I think he what, what he tried to do was like relocate and then wait for RTZ and then bring him back, but just couldn't find the opening. No, nice was, try by Kuroki. That was difficult. You really? Yeah. Well. I mean, you have to go for those plays, and you don't make him. It's not the worst thing. Try his best. I, I think he's played really well this game, actually. Even though they're losing pretty badly. They're losing harder. Ellis is going to come out. Here comes S4. Pops the BKB. Mm, Lincoln Sphere is still up. It's going to get broken now, but a little bit too late as the range Rex is going to go down. First, they want to focus on the gold, but harder to bring down than you want to think. And this is it backdrop protected? It must be. Yeah, and it's actually there's a range creep, a pesky range creep. Now it won't be as the creeps are coming to the base bottom. Range Rex is going to be taken out and they're going to go for it all. The mega creeps. EG right about to 2 0 here against Team Secret. Secret who's had a dominating streak throughout MDL Summit 3, even at the Red Bull Battlegrounds land in San Francisco. They might drop their first series in quite some time. They'll jump in with S4, gets hexed up, they broke the Lincoln Spear, is gonna go through, there's the Laguna Blade, he does have buyback. Speaking of buyback, Arteezy just bought back in. It's there, and the Cold Embrace, man, he didn't wanna lock down this giant ass rock. Arteezy in trouble, Song, reset the fight. Arteezy, no BKB, they won't be able to focus him down yet, but here comes AUI looking at him, he's just tied. Ice Shards, BKB again for S4. They're rolling in with the Universe. Arteezy's gonna fall once more, not yet. He actually did make it out, Relocate came through, I think, from the, I don't know, he's dead. Aegis is going to get expended. That's Sumil down. Here comes S4 again. Zai back in the fray in the front lines. Losing so much damage. One more right click. She'll do the job. And Universe is going to chase after we finish it. Arteezy does pick up Sumil's Beyond Godlike spree. Can he make it out alive is the question. Looks like he might be able to. S4 running low on mana. Universe jumping in. Walrus Punch comes through. They're just zoning him out. They want this Rex. They're going to get it. Inga Creeps coming in. Sumil bought back. I need to be a little bit careful here. Zai gets hexed up. There's the LC Laguna Blade again. And the instair comes through. Zai with no buyback. S4 ball lightning to mid lane. At this point, they're running down mid, but their tier fours are getting crushed. And Trout, this is going to be it, man. I don't know what they're doing, but this is it. You can feel the frustration of RTZ. Just running down mid, but really nicely played by EG. I think that, I honestly think in both games, the Secret had an opportunity to take it. Um, maybe got a little bit 